What's up, guys? Thanks for stopping by. I hope you're doing good. Today, we are continuing with the Valheim world record uh, speedrun grind. Uh, this is where we try and beat the game with a fresh character and on a new random seed. And we try and kill all the bosses as fast as possible. Current world record is 413. It's on the screen. My PB is 437. We're very close. But it's a huge grind to get the RNG we need. Uh, so that's what we're going to be doing today. Uh, I have been spending some time working on videos and some stuff for the YouTube channel for the last couple of weeks. Um... So you can now check out my latest video, which is about Valheim speedrunning. Um, it is uh, the top five most frequently asked questions uh, about Valheim speedrunning. So please go check out that video, leave a like and a comment. I actually will create a command. Um... Or maybe there's a mod in the chat that can create a command. I actually forgot to create one for the video. Um, I'm sure a mod will do it for me, actually. Let's just get into it. What's up, Lover Lane? Thanks for stopping by the stream. I hope you're doing good. Thanks for the look. I appreciate it. So, yeah, I'm going to be talking about some of my future content plans. Uh, but we'll do that later on when more people have had the chance to show up. So, for now, let's jump into it. You run. If there is a mod in the chat, please could they create a command for a link to the new video? Just make it exclamation FAQ. That would be great. I actually totally forgot to do it. I appreciate that, Lorraine. I'm glad you're looking forward to the stream. Thanks for the look. trying to think about my approach today i guess if we get early mountain we should go for early mountain that should still be a strat with the new bone mass strat which is much faster than the strat using world record that's time save on record so it should balance out some of the rng and then like if we get an early modder we now have strats to kill modder right it looks like there's a couple of mountains where we spawned in we can actually, we still need to play for early mountain because we can capitalize on finding. Oh, that looks like a good mountain over there. Where is that? Right between the gap. What's up, Tony? Thanks for stopping by the stream. I hope you're doing good, dude. Thanks for stopping by. The whole time that we grinded out early mountain to find an early modder. There was maybe like two or three times that we found a modder on the starter island. And at the time we had no strats to fight a modder with no mats, but now we do. So we need we need to capitalize on that. It's something to bear in mind. Okay. Well, 
Well, it's not depression. Thanks for stopping by the stream. I hope you're doing good, dude. Um, oh, actually kind of in line with the eat there, which is kind of nice. What's up, get on the bar, thanks for talking about the stream, I hope you're doing good. Thanks, depression. Likewise. Things are good. What are the new strats? No, that's all good, dude. Um, I'll just explain both. Um, so I'm not sure if you know either of them. Uh, we've done the bone mass one a lot on stream. But we've only actually done the modern one once. I practiced it off stream a few times though. New bone mass, you just build a platform on the side of the skull. I didn't turn off tutorials. Um, so yeah, you just build a platform so he can't reach it. It's essentially the same strat as before, except you build a platform with a spawn point on the skull. So you can infinitely respawn it. So he can't melee you and so you can dodge all the enemies. So it allows you to do it a lot faster because there's less travel distance between deaths. And uh, you have more health and stamina. So it saves a lot of time, maybe about 30 minutes even in some cases. Um, we've had that strap for a while though. Pretty much since he got the record, not eat. <laughs> I was thinking about the game. Got thread and eat beer mixed up, which is funny. But right when I started trying to find ways to beat record, we got that one. And then the modern one's more recent. We basically just use campfires instead of a bonfire. It's actually almost as fast as bonfire. What's up, Jonathan? Thanks for talking about the stream. Hope you're doing good. Hell yeah, likewise, dude. What's up, Bob? Thanks for talking about the stream. Hope you're doing good. Good to see you guys as well. Everything is going well. Thanks for asking, guys. I really appreciate everyone's welcoming positivity to coming back after their work on the YouTube channel. I'm going to wait until we have more viewers and more people in the chat to talk about some plans for the future of the YouTube channel. I've been... Uh, I know some people are probably wondering... What took me so long to make these videos and stuff like the last couple of i think it's a bit it's about two weeks i was not streaming for i made a new video about valheim speedrunner and follow up frequently asked top five most frequently asked questions not all of them just the top five um and uh just posted a Tribes of Midgard speedrun. I did a members only live stream where I played Elite Dangerous, just quite casual gameplay, and a members only video. But I've also. Oh, I might have fixed Patreon not assigning roles automatically in the Discord, but we'll have to see what happens next time we get a new patron. Uh, so I attempted to fix that. Hopefully it worked. And then. I've been working on a lot of plans for, and uh, tests for new videos and uh, some new ideas. It's going to be awesome. Currently playing Valheim with some friends. Not speedrunning, but doing fine. Just kill Bowmas. Nice, dude. Sounds fun. Too many deer around, but I 
herd of deer over this way. Well, so looks thanks for the stream. I hope you're doing good. Trophy, please. Nice. That's good. Not a bad pace to start out with at all. What's up, Ryan? Thanks for stopping by the stream. Hope you're doing good, mate. And thanks for the look. I appreciate that. I'm feeling it. Feeling it today. See if we can get some good grinding going. and stuff. It's possible it's an open area with more rocks. So I'm, I'm going to guess that it actually is. Yeah, it looks like it. What's your favorite and least favorite part of the Valheim speedrun, Nick? Um, I really enjoy... All the meta strats now. I think it's been a really good place now. We've figured some new stuff out over the last few months. Um, My least favorite part is still how hard it is to find your glove. Um, my favorite part actually might be the meadows. There's like lots of stuff to think about in the meadows early on, which I like. Fires, unfortunately, but Positioning was a little uh, crazy in that fight. He kind of kept moving and stuff. I think we handled that nicely considering. I think I'm going to forget about theory crafting resetting spawn for now.
We could still drop an antler near spawn in case I change my mind. How do you dodge roll the hammer out? Uh, I rebinded the uh, build menu. My build menu is on middle mouse. My deconstruct is on E. The fuck? Why did that come up? That was weird. What's up, that's all. Thanks for talking about the stream. I hope you're doing good. I miss you too, buddy. Thanks for watching the stream. I appreciate that. Nice of you to say. the neck tails for i mean nothing really but we might uh maybe we would cook them in a certain scenario i'm just killing necks because the dps actually is kind of annoying to deal with I'm actually going to test something. I'm pretty sure antlers actually don't despawn, like items don't despawn in spawn. Like, when next can really catch you off guard. The speed run. The safer they kill him. got the splits for a wrong, the wrong category going oh uh, it doesn't matter <laughs> these splits are empty because this is a splits for set seed so i'm actually not comparing against my pb it doesn't matter we just don't know the splits compared to my pb But they're just empty splits. It's no, not a big deal. Still works. I need to remember to change that after this run, though. 
What's up, Cloaky? Thanks for stopping by. I hope you're doing good. Good to see you as well, dude. There's actually mountains everywhere on this seed. That's potentially a good thing. Come from. Are you from the tower? You must be there from the tower, right? Must be. Do, 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 do. It's nice to, uh, like, whenever I stop streaming to make videos, it's always a grind to work on videos and stuff for the editing and everything. But it, it does, it's really fun to come back to Valheim speedrunning after a couple of weeks off. I definitely enjoy it more when I've had a little bit of a break from it. Could a moderator do me a favor at some point in the stream today? Forgot to create a command for something. I just want an exclamation FAQ command to link to my new video. I forgot to create it before the stream. Pretty please. My hands get sweaty even though I'm not playing. <laughs> that was a, a fun barrel traversal, not gonna lie. She worked out perfectly. Just need leather now. And we should hopefully still be heading towards that mountain. Yeah, 
Now I see some sort of mountain there through the trees. So we got enough bones to make a level 3 club there. I'm not putting a bed down here. It's not necessary. I have a close bed. isn't it? I'm lost. There we go. rhythm of these guys sucks. No watcher, please. Oh, really, dude? That's really rough. No! Gotta relog. That arch is gonna kill me. I have zero stamina. Found an elder though. is way north. Trying to weigh up if it's even worth doing a reset spawn here. We, do have, we would have to check caves anyway, most likely. Yeah, it probably is. We don't really have anything on us that takes time to collect. So we'll probably save a few minutes. Resin, weirdly, is actually what could be a problem. But hopefully we just get a lot of land. Along the way. Hell yeah, what's up, El No? Thanks for talking the stream. Hope you're doing good. It's looking decent enough so far. Elder's kind of far, but... Hopefully we can make up for it.
regular grey dwarfs kind of we should actually try and kill him Not sure I understand the question. But yeah, I'm a Valheim speedrunner. I've finished the game multiple times. Hundreds, not thousands of attempted speedruns as well. Does Valheim have an ending? I mean, not really. The game's still in development. You just have to kill all the bosses. Like, nothing special really happens when you do that. Let's get more stuff. So you could kind of do a bit of food here. So I don't waste too much time trying not to get hit. It's a little bit new, uh, new strats kind of chat. Where we are. Resetting the spawn. When we have to pass the spawn in that scenario. That break is no good. Just time loss. We don't need improvement for bone mass right now. Got all some strats for it. What? We got a stone thrown at us. That shouldn't be much time loss anyway because now we get to do a fast heal we're still right here right what's up baby pickle don't stop by the stream i hope you're doing good
Okay, we're still doing good. I think you as much time save out of that reset spawn as I wanted, but I think we still saved a little bit of time. basically back to what we had before already set for wood You get a big pile of resin when you beat the game to shut Fluffy up. <laughs> What's up, Dana? Thanks for talking about the stream. I hope you're doing good. one ward from that holy drop rates did 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 what's up Zephyr thanks for the stream hope you're doing good good to see you as well thanks buddy What's the purpose of hitting the boat like that? Please hold. I have the best possible answer you'll ever, could ever wish for. Viral link. Watch that video. If you're asking that question, the other five, the other four, be worth listening to as well. Please could a moderator create a, a link to that FAQ video by doing an exclamation, creating a command for exclamation FAQ. It's the right one, right? What's up, guys? Thanks for. Wait, hang on. 
What's up, guys? Thanks for stopping by. I hope you're doing good. As most of you will probably know by... Yeah, that's the right video. Do, 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 do. Don't forget to smash the like button, folks. True, Bob. Head Bob, guys. Don't make him angry. How close is that troll? Pretty close. Don't don't walk away. Come. I don't see any birch trees. There has to be one. Where's the damn birch trees game? Get him? Hello? There we go. This is actually cool. We very rarely get the opportunity to do this strat. It's kind of rare. On a speed run to get a troll that close to the meadows. Right, you can go away now. <laughs> we've, we've used you. That's it. I'm good now. No, your services are no longer needed, Gavin. That's a nice and quick fine wood. Second only to... Uh, Shipwreck. Kevin is fired. True. I'm gone with you, Ethan. Be gone. Exactly. Sub four hour. Let's go. What the fuck? What the fuck, Dana? <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, is is my computer broken? Or did Dana just donate a hundred dollars? So far, let's go. Holy shit. Oh my god. Dana, you legend. Thank you so much for supporting the content that much. 
that really really helps buddy thank you so much that's a huge help and very very generous Thank you so much for supporting the content and helping keep the dream alive, bro. That really means a lot to me. Thank you. Oh my god. Thank you so much, Dana. You, you just made my day. That's crazy. So much for the support. Insanely generous. Your legend. Hope you're having a great day. Good to see you in the chat. What else can I say? What a nutter chat. Go get world record. Greetings, Nick. What's up, Karma? Thanks so much. I appreciate that. I'm trying to be cautious with whether we sail or not because if we can make it by, by, by land you know we can multitask a lot potentially save some time thanks again so much Dana I really appreciate that you absolute legend thanks so much for supporting the content and keeping the dream alive I appreciate that That's a hell of a welcome back to streaming right there. <laughs> Dana legend. Wow, big love and respect Dana. Yeah, exactly. What a flipping legend. If this run ends up being record, we'll have to dedicate it to Dana. <laughs> At the end. Does anyone remember <laughs> when me and Archie were the main ones grinding for record? And I actually kind of jokingly ended because I'm friends with Archie. I like jokingly ended the run <laughs> to say like fuck you Archie <laughs> that's what you get or something like that <laughs> it just randomly came out of me the banter it's kind of funny I'd, I'd, I'd never know, know if he watched that and saw that me say that he never mentioned it but I was just joking around but he, he has to know if he saw it <laughs> We're actually getting pretty good RNG here. Um, we still need seeds, it's my only real concern. I actually do also need hide, which is not as important as anything else. What? He actually went the wrong, the, the one spot I didn't expect him to go. I'm not chasing deer around though. Oh, whoa. It's not, at this point in the game, it's not worth going for deer for hide. But if you can get an easy, quick deer, we might as well do it. Oh yeah, we're actually full up the mats, it's okay. Um probably faster to swim this bit. I'd love to th for this to be the run. This is a far elder, but we did reset spawn.
What's up, Joe? Thanks for the look. I appreciate it. I hope you're doing good, dude. A one star, that's nice. a lot of little strats in so far kind of fun This is working out nice. We just need those goddamn seeds. But I'm saying, staying on as straight a path as I can. There we go. I was just about to say, in hopes that we just get enough seeds in a straight line. Because that's the way to, to do it. And then if you just don't get them, you can always explore once you get there. Right, I see another troll cave. There is a troll at it. I don't exceed my encumbrance. Oh. This is completely empty. We just take advantage of looting all the yellow mushrooms. I needed to just make sure I wasn't going to die from being over encumbered there if we found all the bones and the leather that we needed at once which we could have um I stand at this side of the boat he shouldn't do the melee attack which did work Let's -a go, guys. I'm gonna be uh, talking about some of my uh, plans for the channel, the YouTube channel. 
um, and the Twitch channel at some point during today's stream to give you guys a little bit of update on what it is I've been working on, strategizing about, planning, figuring out how to think, take things to the next level, but I'm saving it, discussing about it until we've got a few people watching so every, more people hear about it. And then I'll, we'll, I'll probably clip it and post it as a YouTube video. Just a little update video. It's nothing too crazy, but it is really fun and exciting. The meters back up. There's a few scenarios where I feel it is worth using meat, but there's not many. But a few. We just did one of them, is when we reset our spawn. So we have no food and just a way to get ahead HP wise before you have to recollect if you need to grind a boss stone out, like we actually just did. Best thing to do in that scenario though would have probably been to put a bed down right away after we killed our first boar. Corpse run for the fast heal. Or just rest. But corpse run would be faster, except you can just do rest without the wood. Anyway. I was thinking out loud now, but that's would all be legit. The ball stones in the early game before you have like three food items is actually legit the only part of the run I feel like I need HP for everything else we kind of just have a way around it how many people are watching the stream right now guys on twitch and on youtube out of curiosity i want to know when we should discuss plans for the content i should probably wait until we're between runs Funny on Twitch, yeah, still early. I'll wait until whatever team runs. Thanks for letting me know, though. Funny YouTube. Good. Twenty five views, nineteen likes. Shame. True, Jesus. True. Oh, excuse me. I think I hit the mute button in time before I sneezed. <laughs> I 
I actually do have a, a cough button. Watching streams for a while, I thought I was up my bad. No worries. Well, Tyler, I appreciate that, mate. Let's check out the content. I'm glad you enjoy it. Yeah, it usually takes a few days for people to realize I'm back to streaming after I've worked on a video. Oh, we got a close swamp here even. Tends to make up for the far elder. Bulus. Thanks for the sub on YouTube. Appreciate that, mate. Hope you're doing good. Okay, this is such an insane seed right now. Such a crazy area. We should check that troll cave. We need what, five leather and 13 bones. What's up, Bevo? Thanks for stopping by. I hope you're doing good. What's up, Alex? Thanks for stopping by the stream. I hope you're doing good. Appreciate it, guys. Well, at least we got a few bones out of it, so not a waste of time. Are the allergies better now? I think so. Thanks, Jonathan. Watching these speedruns, maybe want to do it. I started a hardcore challenge, but I haven't played for a bit. Nice, dude. Well, I am about to start making some speedrun guide videos so just in time hopefully i'm glad to hear it that's really cool good luck on the runs dude I kind of need to know if there's going to be a crypt over here or not. It looks like no. There is a mountain. Probably should have gone for ancient bark right away. I'm not going for it now. I'm hoping for more swamp anyway across the ocean.
Hopefully we don't get a serpent head. It is raining now. Still need one seed. I'm losing the wind as well. Hello, Leviathan. It's just typical to get a serpent head right next to a Leviathan. It's not like they basically have to have a similar spawn condition. So I'm not risking it. It's not super common for them to be on top of each other, but they can be. Got a trader here as well. <laughs> what a funny area. This run's been a fun attempt so far. Some different stuff. Oh my god, Odin, what are you doing to us? The wind. Let's change it. Um Hopefully we get another seed. What's up, Kraken? Thanks for stopping by the stream. Hope you're doing good, dude. Nice to see you as well. Did I not remake a club? I guess not. Fucking win. I'm good, thanks, dude. Thanks for asking.
If we can get 10 bones. Oh, we will. Yeah, it's not going to happen. We actually still need hide as well. Good so far. Thanks, Kraken. Oh my god, we literally need one hide. It doesn't matter. But we can't do it right away, actually. It's fine. Um... Actually nice. Oh, we're gonna have to build one of these. I was trying not to. I have to. Oh, that was close. Cracking, could you do me a favor and create a command? I could do with a moderator to create a command for me. Uh, today I forgot something. On our command, that's just exclamation F FAQ. Well, links to my latest Valheim video. This exclamation FAQ. And it's exclamation add command space command name and then space command the Streamlabs spot. Uh, let me think about this. We need wood. So annoying, dude. We might as well just kill ourselves. Where, where's our bed? Well, one hit. I can post a link to the video. I think it's still on my clipboard. I think that's it. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. This segment is slow, but hopefully we can make up for it. It's not as slow as it could have been with an elder this far away. But I'm going for it anyway. So I just heard a deer.
That was a sick elder fight. <laughs> that was actually sick. Okay. Now. Yeah, that was a really fast elder fight. Really fast. Multiple things need to happen. Exclamation add command space, exclamation FAQ space. Let's put like FAQ video colon and then the link or something like that. things need to happen we have a need to find one we need one hide at some point i need five core wood we check for hiding here actually Yeah, I have tried V-Ryzen. It's a cool game. Oh, yeah. It just instantly punched me this time. No animation. Don't worry about it, Kraken. If you don't know how to do it, it's fine. That worked out good. have arrows either do we we don't have wood for that yet three maybe we quickly just some wood We can't, we can't actually. Um, 
make another level 3 club anyway. We used them mats already, so it's fine. Don't need to worry about skeletons though. Oh, awesome. Thanks, Kraken. That's great. Perfect. Good job, dude. Thank you. Appreciate that, mate. So from now on, if someone in the chat asks, why is he hitting the boat? Why is he not using eat beer? What does NGRSG stand for? Do all runners play in the same seed? Why does he re-log? You can just do exclamation. Anyone in the chat can just do exclamation FAQ. <laughs> and there's an actual in-depth explanation for everyone. <laughs> we still have the other commands too as well, of course. But... There we go. I knew it. I was literally thinking like, I'm not just going to end up wandering into a plane with no arrows. I was feeling that it could be close. There's three campfires there. Three bonfires rather. That, um, would be potentially Oh my god, what? What's this Desquito doing? <laughs> What's up Richard? Thanks for stopping by. I hope you're doing good. Thanks, dude. I appreciate that. I'm glad you liked the video. I'm going to make some more videos like that coming up. Talk more about it later on where I'm going to do a little bit of a channel update conversation on stream between the runs at some point. I'm dead. No, I'm not dead. Oh, I am dead now. What? Was that actually the Desquito that got me or something else? Couldn't quite tell. Too much going on there. I need to see what's going on. Oh, we're close. That's fine. I did, before I went into the planes, I, I, did, I was thinking about beds and I was like, nah, we got a close bed. Sam. Yeah, there is some funny categories. 
a, there's actually a little bit of a community in, in a sub community amongst the Valheim community that's obsessed with doing stuff around trophies. The amount of times I've actually heard people discuss tournaments. Multiple people I have heard, different people that don't know each other, discuss the idea of tournaments for collecting certain trophies. It's really random to me, but yeah, some people really latch on to the trophy thing. They are, they are cool though. I think it's interesting. It's actually a whole community that's obsessed with collecting all the Valheim trophies. Kind of funny. This is going to be a problem now. To get our stuff back. And get the totem. I can't get it. I can't get to it. Ah, uh, scuffed rod. Evening, Mark. Thanks for coming the stream. I hope you're doing good. Tends to be a reset, yeah, because uh, all the solutions are fucking time consuming as hell. Now we have to go back anyway. The trophy. Circle in the outside of a camp wall. When you're running out of a camp. Yeah, maybe we don't go back for the mats. Don't think it's going to be worth it. There's a lot going on for whatever reason in that particular camp. But when you're running back out, circling around a wall kind of like messes with the AI a bunch and they lose line of sight. That worked out nicely there. We saved it. I was going to deconstruct 
those other buyers as well, but wasted enough time on that camp. Let's just keep keep moving. It's too early in the run to worry about stressing over a little bit of bark. It's not like time loss yet. To not have bark. We don't need it for a while. Now I can't see a thing. Kind of gets to run around without my bow out. In the mist. Oh, that's that same. We're going around in circles here. Pretty much in the sweet spot for finding all the bosses around the same distance from the center. Looks like another camp up there. I think I could see another village. Yeah, I do. It's honestly too foggy to be able to tell from here whether it has a totem or not. It does. I can't believe that hit me. No. Oh, I should have put a bed down. Fucking fog, man. Right, so it's so sketch when you're putting beds down in the fog because you don't know if you're like right next to something that's just going to destroy it. But, which is why I was hesitant to do it. Like it, I'll know. I don't know why, but it, it felt like it. Felt like that was a curveball there. A curve spear. Oh, there's a hard spawn over there that we actually couldn't even see because of the fog. That's fun. At least we see it now. Silver lining. Fog's still here. Fog is one of the worst things you can get on a speed run. Oh. Okay. 
bullshit game. Right, reset. Splish. Jesus. Why would that hump as well is just so annoyingly distanced away from the back of the thing so you couldn't instantly jump over it using a hump like you normally do. So annoying. But it's too much time loss. Too much time loss. Announcement time? Yeah, let's talk about it. Let me drink some water. What's up, guys? Thanks for stopping by. I hope you're doing good. Uh, I'm actually recording this live right now during the stream. I just have a little bit of a channel update. It's nothing crazy, um, but I just thought, um, you know, things have gone super well over the last year. And considering we're over a year now into doing the type of content we're doing on this channel, um, I've been thinking a lot about what to do going forwards, and uh, I just figure it's probably good. Um, to do one of these kind of videos at least once a year where I give you a little bit of a channel update. So, I plan to continue doing the Valheim challenge videos and speedruns um, with the occasional guide. Um, the reason for this is because the challenge videos I see as being the tent pole kind of content um of the youtube channel and of all of my twitch channel as well that's the main thing that i think people want to see from me um but it's not possible to do challenges like that on a daily or weekly basis really um because they just take a long time to make i put a lot of effort into those videos it takes a lot of editing a lot of planning and obviously a lot of recording time as well so, I enjoy doing speedruns also. And the speedruns are what, for me, gave birth to doing the challenge videos. But I love still doing the speedruns because speedruns allow me to do a similar type of content that I can actually do on almost a daily basis. And certainly several times a week. So, that enables me to continue to bring you guys, like, content on a regular basis. So, you're not starved of content between the challenge videos. And then, the guides... I simply make because as someone that puts a lot of time into um, making speedruns and challenge videos, you just end up with a lot of weird game knowledge that is kind of, you know, useless outside of, you know, anything other than a guide, basically. Um, I, I think that doing speedruns and challenges gives me a little bit of a unique insight to make a a specific type of guide uh so it'll either be like basic guides like usual but just in detail or guides about stuff that perhaps other valheim youtubers don't know about because they're not challenged videos uh, they're not challenged runners or speed runners so that's what i currently do um the one change to that going forwards that i want to talk about is um i I'm trying to be equal parts streamer and just regular YouTuber. Um, and for me personally, because of the game that I speed, my main game that I speedrun is Valheim. Valheim, the Valheim speedrun streams, like it, it's not possible for me to say how long the stream is going to be because you, you don't know when you're currently on a, on a run that's going to be record and you know, like, you never know when it's going to be a reset. And then, whenever I reset, um, I have to then commit to, like, whatever the current record is. Right now, it's 4.13. So, it's like, I need to commit the next 4.13, 4 hours and 13 minutes uh, of my time to this. So, the stream is going to be any random time between 5 minutes and 4 hours and 13 minutes. Um, so it's not it's not really possible to me have like a hard stream schedule because that creates like a lot of late nights or a lot of early finishes and 
it makes my, my sleep schedule different and, and all of this. So I essentially just grind for whatever period of time feels right to me. Whether it's a month, a week, or, or basically, you know, longer. I could be like grind. I've been grinding recently, for example, um, for way over a month. I've, it might even be more than two months now um, to go for world record. And this leads me to on something that I want to do going forwards, which is basically that I love doing the speedrun streams and everything. But I do need to make sure I'm always working on challenge videos and guide content for the YouTube channel. Because that is our main tentpole content that brings people into the community. Um, and sometimes I can get a little bit too fixated. I'm just trying to accomplish something with a speed run that I, it, I spend too long. I, I go too long without making another YouTube video. And this is fine because I kind of like just sort of going by feel, going by my gut because it's got me this far. Going by my gut has got me this far. But what I would like to change going forwards is that what I'm going to do um, is I'm going to essentially focus on whatever it is I want to focus on on stream, whether it's a speed run or a challenge, um, for let's say seven days in a row. So whether that is seven back to back streams or or whether it's like five streams with a day or two off at some point during those seven days uh doing working on something else after about seven days of grinding on something unless we're like we know we're super close and it just takes like one more stream to get something done no matter what after about a week of straight streaming I want to spend um, two to three days after that just working on videos um, so that to make sure I'm always working on, on YouTube videos. And what I mean by that is uh, what I'll do is after like a solid seven days of grinding streams, I'll then dedicate a solid three days of videos and depending on the video, um some videos might just take a day to make some videos might just take two days to make some might take three days to make and with how, however long it makes how, however long it takes i'll just make one video and then go back to grinding streaming for seven days but some videos take weeks to make and um by doing this what i'll be able to do is like let's say I'm working on a crazy challenge video that will take me like a month to make. By dedicating like three days to it, want like basically stream for a week and then dedicate three days to it and then go back to stream for a week. Um, I'll be able to like do three days of solid work on it and then come back to streaming and then stream for another like seven days in a row and then come back to streaming uh, and then yeah go back to working on the video so i can kind of like do three days work on it and then come back to it a week later just so i'm always chipping away at it so what what this means for you guys it it doesn't really change anything all it changes is you're going to be getting more content it's just up until this point i haven't really done things with a schedule because i just like how it's been playing out going by my gut it's been working to my advantage greatly. And it's really hard to have a schedule with Valheim speedrunning. It's just sometimes we get too distracted. And I don't make enough YouTube videos. And everybody has like really positive feedback about the YouTube videos. They say super nice things. Everybody loves them. And I really appreciate everyone's positivity. It really means a lot that people care so much about the YouTube videos. And I know you guys want to see more. So... Going forwards, all I'm saying is, for you guys, you're not losing out or anything. You're actually going to be getting more content, but um, you're going to be getting more regular YouTube videos. And all I'm saying is, I'm, I'm going to try. Sometimes 
I can be very obsessive with accomplishing things. I obsess over accomplishing a certain speedrun or a challenge all the time. And that's what that sort of like mentality is why I'm able to do the content that I do. But sometimes it's a disadvantage to me because I, I could just take a break and make a video, but I'm still just grinding speedruns. So all I'm saying is I'm going to go roughly seven days in a row of streaming. Um, if I feel like I need a, a break or something to catch up on sleep, because we have a lot of late nights during that seven days, maybe there'll be one or two days off during that seven days. But nonetheless, like a seven day period where my primary focus is the stream. And then a two to three day period or one to three day period. But let's just say a three day period uh, where I focus on making a video. And if I get a video done within that three day period, whether it's on the first day or the last day of the three days, I'll just release that video and then go back streaming for seven days in a row. So I'm going to start actually planning out week of streams, three days of video editing, week of streams, three weeks of video editing. And that's how I'm going to start to structure my content schedule. And like I said, I'll be streaming just as much, but you will get more videos just by me sprays, look, putting a little bit of a buffer between all the streams. Because right now what happens is I, I get obsessed with accomplishing a certain thing and I do nothing but streams for like an entire month and then I'll start work on a video and then I end up spending like two weeks working on that video. Um, I'm not saying that won't happen. It just should happen left less often just by dedicating a few days um, here and there to work on videos. So more regular videos. What videos? <laughs> So, um, I've also started to prioritize my video ideas. I've created a spreadsheet. I'm not going to share it with you guys. So I don't want to spoil anything. Um, but basically, I have um, about four Valheim Challenge videos um, that I plan to make. Uh, all with varying levels of difficulty. They're all really hard. Or some are harder than others. And um and so um you will be getting the the there will be more challenge videos. I've got four of those that I'm going to be working on. And I I'm also I'm working on a series of Valheim speedrun guides. Um so if you do exclamation FAQ in the chat if you're watching right now the first one of those just came out uh, you guys might have seen it already that's just that one was just a bit of a warm-up and a little bit of a practice for me to make some kind of speedrun guide and that's just the top five most frequently asked questions uh, for the most entry level person that's just discovering valheim speedrunning for the first time i would like to take that to the next level and the plan is to make a complete guide to basically grinding Valheim speedruns for world record, essentially. Um, so that anyone could start doing it. And I plan on doing that as a series of, to start with, a series of five videos where it will be one video for each biome in the game. And I'll go through every strat I can think of each biome and it'll be really in-depth guides. So Valheim content, we've got four challenge videos which will be coming um and five guide videos and so i'll prioritize those which by you know whichever i think is best to do next um and they will be the videos that i work on in this three day period that i'm going to be taking off to work on videos every sort of seven days of stream content um other than that um there is also um i have plans to attempt a Elden Ring challenge video. Um, I have something really cool planned. Um, uh, it involves some mods. And uh, I would like to work on that as well. Um, so there will be a little bit of Elden Ring content. Uh, other than that, when it comes to the straight videos, um, 
There is also obviously the speed runs, which are a product of the, of the streams. Those are just from VOD to the streams. Everything I'm discussing does not include those. There will still be like when I PB, that will still be posted as a video no matter what. Um, and uh, for those speed runs, I have planned, uh, I, I plan to continue the Valheim speedrun guide. Um, the Valheim speedrun grind, but also um, I'm going to also resume uh, doing the occasional tribes of Midgard run. And uh, now I've actually finished learning that. And from time to time, the occasional OG Resident Evil 2 and OG Resident Evil 3. And also the occasional Elden Ring speed run. I'm going to resume the 1.3 patch runs for now. And the reason why I'm saying all of this is because every once in a while... It, it, it might not even be on a weekly basis, but every once in a while, I'm going to dedicate time both on and off stream um, to work on speedruns for these other games. I'm going to use these other games as a way for us to take a little bit of a break from Valheim um, just so we don't feel too burnt out. And because I want to do a special speedrun marathon stream. So sometime soon, TM... Within the next few months, I plan to attend my first ever uh, speedrun marathon where I successfully complete a speedrun um, for five games back to back. And that will be Valheim, Tribes of Midgard, Resident Evil 2, Resident Evil 3, and Elden Ring. And so those speedruns that I just mentioned that I'm going to occasionally do, uh, one of the reasons why I'm going to slot those in here and there is so that I get to practice them so I'm capable of doing a speedrun marathon. I want to clarify, we're going to still mostly be doing Valheim content, uh, but that's just something that I want to slot in. And if I can get to the point where I can do a speedrun marathon successfully, I may decide to do like a speedrun, one speedrun marathon a month maybe, or maybe once every other month. Or it could be perhaps be bi-monthly. So, Speedrun content that isn't Valheim isn't going to take over the channel completely. Um, but it is something that I want to do just to break things up. Um, what else for streams? I, th I think that's pretty much it for that. Um, oh, there is also some Elden Ring categories that I'm trying to... That I, I haven't even started to learn yet. Um, that once I have learned them, I may start streaming those and putting those into marathons as well so for now in terms of what i am streaming it's not going to be changing that much um but it may change more in the future but i'm still going to try and make most of my content about valheim um yeah i think i think that's good for that um so um as for how I choose which game I'm playing, it's literally just going to be like, if I'm starting to feel burnt out, grinding for record a little bit, uh, a little bit tired um, of all the resets or something, I might just randomly do a couple of runs of, of, of a different game just to keep things fresh. Um, Patreon. So, when the next big update comes out, when Mistlands gets released... I'll be creating a second server for patrons. Um, this is going to be dedicated to survival. And the idea behind this is uh, the server is quite full now with lots of amazing builds. And we want to preserve the original Valheim server. It's going nowhere. But it will be kind of... It would be... Kind of difficult to start from scratch on that server without sort of losing a lot of stuff so when Mistlands launches which we don't know when it's coming out yet but whenever it does i will create a second valheim server just for people that support the content on patreon so they can actually play the Mistlands update together and for members only content i'm going to continue to post the occasional speed run um and uh, the occasional behind the scenes video. Um, 
and that will be minimum one video per month for members and um, but occasionally uh if i'm feeling um sometimes i just feel like sharing more because it's like i've actually been enjoying members only content and uh i'm going to throw in the occasional like more personal vlog where i might show you something um from like you know some hobby or some interest of mine uh, and discuss that and i also have started uh doing members only streams where we either stream speedrun practice or stream playing a game casually which brings me on to something else a question i get all the time uh, so just to close out the members only thing members are going to continue to get at least one exclusive video per month um but they are just going to get the occasional stream and video about something else um as well uh as just extra content and i plan on doing that more because i've really been enjoying it uh, but we have be a minimum of once a month but it you could actually see i probably won't do more than two a month but it it, it could be that you get like one video or one vlog or one speed run and then just like something completely random like a random stream uh or random like personal video what's up dakota thanks for talking about the stream i hope you're doing good um so the last thing i want to talk about is people ask me all the time about what games i like to play casually and they ask me if i'm interested in certain games or would i do content would i stream a certain game uh what do i do to relax and stuff like that um, which brings me on to something else um which is um sometimes if i get like really tired or stressed from all of the speedrun grinding and challenge content and making youtube videos and i just want to take a break to relax i obviously still love video games so i do play games to relax off stream um and it's always a completely different kind of thing um there's nothing you know nothing like what i stream here um but sometimes really awesome things happen when any of us play games right and i always feel compelled to share it with you guys um but the thing is it it wouldn't really um be ideal with my current channels because some people are only interested uh in, in just seeing speedruns or challenges from me now and you know they, they don't necessarily want me to see me just be be a new bit of game um, and I also don't necessarily want to be on camera even when I'm relaxing, which leads me to my brand new Twitch channel, which is called Nick No Cam. I have created an alt Twitch channel, an, an alternative Twitch channel. If you do exclamation alt in the chat, you get a link to it if you go follow that channel if you're interested in seeing me play those games casually the uh the idea of this channel um it's literally just created uh a night or two ago um you, you'll be my first ever followers chat so head over there um that is just for people that want to me to play games casually and so as you might tell by the name nick no cam <laughs> um the plan is that if i am playing games to relax just casually and i decide i want to share you the, that experience with you guys um then i'll stream it on a separate you on a separate twitch channel and uh, that will just be live streamed on twitch and uh this is going to be a place for me to not worry about the quality content always delivering on the entertainment uh, factor of doing intense challenges and speedruns all the time worrying about being on camera and stuff it's a place for me to just share my raw gameplay um uh, i will be on mic um but it's just a place for me to do more relaxed streams of just casual gameplay to just play whatever i want um and get immersed in the game and maybe even not worry about talking to chat as much but what i have learned from what i've been doing with members content 
and from trying out some different things with streaming and stuff is whilst that mo that that doesn't have like potential to be the big thing that people get excited about and, and grow my channel there's always members of the community that do enjoy w watching you just play anything uh and so if you're somebody that would just watch me basically do anything you're up for just watch me play like games casually um then make sure you go and follow the twitch channel it's nick no cam you get a link to it by doing exclamation alt in the chat um for example right now uh there's a game called the cycle that just came out which is sort of like escape from tarkov but it's in space and it's free to play i've really been enjoying that um there's a game to play in my spare time over the last few days so i uh will for sure be sharing uh some of my experience grinding the cycle with you guys off stream so this isn't going this isn't something that's going to have a schedule this isn't something that's going to happen every day or even every week um it's not going to take away from the other content this is just a way of me sort of doing a little bit of behind the scenes in the sense that if i just want to relax and unwind and not be on camera but still share my experience of playing games with you guys it's just a place for me to do that Pe a lot of people have asked about v rising for example like we could actually try that out um on a no cam stream um we could do some elden ring we can do some dark souls we could do minecraft elite dangerous escape from tarkov um maybe even some battle royales and stuff like that it just totally depends some mmos just like all the kind of games i like when we could even do some retro stuff um yeah so it's just a, a random twitch channel that i created to just do random stuff um and i will post in my discord when i go live on that um also if we do manage to become affiliate on that channel it will be a place where people can use their free twitch primes to support the content because um the, if you agree to be a twitch affiliate you actually have a twitch contract and that contract doesn't allow you to stream on twitch and youtube at the same time um which is detrimental to my content because all my growth comes from youtube um so i refuse to agree to that for my main channel um and it works really well for us I, i'm totally happy with that um but by having a, an additional twitch channel um as long as i don't stream on youtube at the same time on that channel it means that we could potentially get like emotes and people could use their twitch primes to support the content which i get asked about all the time people ask about giving uh twitch primes uh so if we reach affiliate which i'm sure we will um people will be able to do that so we could still have some twitch emotes in the twitch chat uh, just from a different channel that's all um so that's officially everything um there is some other stuff but i don't think i'm ready to talk about it what's up kayleen thanks for stopping by I, I hope you guys are excited about that chat's gone super quiet um so that's the plan um that's the plan going forwards i'm going to stop getting distracted um and make more regular youtube videos so the plan is i'm going to grind roughly seven days in a row give or take depending on how it feels at the time but when it wants to get to seven days i'm gonna like put myself off at some point um and just yeah grind speed on streams uh, roughly seven days in a row um no hard schedules it's just like a way of me cutting myself off so we don't end up do just not making videos for months um then i'll spend a few days working on a video and then we'll go back to streams and we'll keep doing that and the current valheim content is what's going to stay the main temple content for the streams and for the challenge videos but i'm going to start throwing in some stuff for other games occasionally and um 
and yeah new old twitch channel for sharing like casual gameplay oh also the last thing is that um yeah people that become patrons aren't haven't been getting automatically assigned roles in the discord and i have to do it manually so right now if you're a patron and you don't have a role for your uh tier in, in the discord you have to just message me and i do it manually it's supposed to happen automatically um i've tried to fix it multiple times but i've read about it and i did something to fix it so hopefully it's now fixed so if new people become patrons they should get assigned roles that's the last of it that's the other thing i've been working on um but anyway that's it that was probably a bit of a mess and a big jumble of information um but yeah i, I feel kind of weird like just having told you guys all these thoughts and plans for the channel it probably sounds i, I probably i probably sound like a crazy person um but yeah as far as you, you guys are concerned in in the content you consume it's not really going to change it's going to be how i do things now there's just going to be more regular youtube videos and i'm starting to be more organized about it but anyway i hope you enjoyed this video um and yeah thanks for watching i'm gonna put that was so shit for a video i don't feel happy about that but i'll post it anyway <laughs> feel like i just rambled on I will continue to support you in whatever you do, plan or no plan. Just have fun and please make some time for yourself. I appreciate that, Dana. I will for sure. Actually, something is actually worth talking about with their alt channel. Does anyone have any questions about what I just spoke about before we get into a speedrun? We will get into a speedrun, so now's a, probably a good time for questions about it. Um, but yeah, on that note, Dana, like... I actually think having a place to share me playing games like just for fun on Twitch is actually going to make me take more time for myself in a weird way, even though I'll still be sharing it with you guys. But I'm going to make it a rule to not put any pressure on myself um, when I stream on that channel. Um... I'm just going to chill and I'm not going to be on camera or anything. I'm considering even finding a different type of microphone that I don't have to have in front of me. Um, because that's actually going to incentivize me to play other games just to relax. Um, so I might end up chilling playing games more by having an alternative YouTube channel. An alternative uh, Twitch channel. I will create a YouTube channel that matches it where I export the VODs to it as well at some point. Um, thanks, Alex. I appreciate that. Your new plan sounds great. Looking forward to watching you do what you do on whatever channel you do it on. Thanks, Carl. I really appreciate that. Sounds great. Make sure you rest. I appreciate that, guys. Uh, yeah, thanks. Yeah, so it basically right now... I don't have much of a release schedule for YouTube, but hopefully at a minimum, I'll be releasing a video once a fortnight now, like a proper video, not just stuff from the stream. Um, if not once a week, hopefully be sometimes once a week, but it uh, hopefully once a fortnight, I hopefully I can actually make that happen. Um, but either way, it will just be more regular. But it just means we're not just going to go months where all I do is stream, you know. All right. I'm going to go to the bathroom and we'll do more speedruns. I'll be right back.
All right, New Orleans, go. All my splits. Yeah, that's right. I had blank splits open before. Yeah, so if you guys want to, if you'll literally watch me play anything, including watching me play something when I'm not on camera. Just like watch the world gameplay and listen to my voice. Make sure you go follow the new Twitch account. Exclamation alt in the chat for the link it's nick no cam the logo is my logo but with the helmet's eyes are crossed out because you can't see me get it but i think you need like 50 followers or something to get affiliate so make sure you go smash the follow on that Wow. Very flat starting area. Don't even see a small hill. Well, there's a small hill. You're number nine. Hell yeah. Commands are working in the YouTube chat today, right? Yeah, they are. I should put a link in the description as well, I guess. I'll do that for the next stream. Yeah, I may, I may even like try some stuff out on that alt channel. Uh, to test it out before doing it on the main channel. To see if I want to do it on the main channel. And we could do just some random like IRL streamers on it and stuff like that. slot then
like I said, when when I actually start streaming on the alt account, which I have, I, the, I'm not going to plan it out or anything. It's just going to be like next time I decide to play games just for fun and I want to share it, I'll do it. I will create a YouTube channel where I post the VODs on there for people that want to catch up if they couldn't catch it live. They won't be live on YouTube. What's up, Rick? Thanks for talking about. I hope you're doing good. Thanks for the look. I appreciate that, dude. Where did this deer go to? I'm gonna try and start the stream much earlier tomorrow by the way chat had some stuff to do Jason. Come on, dear. Show yourself. Heard a deer. Yeah. hear him but I can't see him he does sound quite far away as well
Rip. Really not a lot of deer on this seed, is there? Now there's three of them. Trophy, please. Time are we on? Yeah, it's still doable. Taking this B I because I want the honey, the boss fight. We might as well capitalize on the extra wood. Because we're gonna use most of this wood in the boss fight most likely. Whatever that'll do for now. My game just randomly stutters these days when I'm speedrunning and I don't know why. I don't know if it's my PC shit in the bed or the game, but it has to be the game. It doesn't seem to happen when I play other games. It never used to do it. I just get like a random little frame hitch. Kind of as if it's doing a world save, even though it's not doing a world save. Thank you, Nana. I appreciate that. I hope you're doing good. Bad, all things considered. Oh, really, Murdenator? I swear it's something that just came in a update a while ago. Definitely don't mix. Thanks, Evan. I appreciate that. Guys, thanks a lot for watching the stream today. I really appreciate it. I hope everyone's doing good.
doing good maps wise. Oh, you think? Maybe. Yeah, I've not really thought about what actually causes it. Spinning around. Maybe. I guess we gotta go this way because I don't think we saw a black forest where we just were. Don't recall seeing a black forest on the way in flying. This is a good decision for direction. Hi Evan, thanks for watching the stream dude. I hope you're doing good. Nope, it's not more efficient. It's a lot less efficient. Okay, we're here, crows. I mean, this is a structure or something close. It's slower. And waste mats that you need later on. So you have to find more mats as well.
not the structure we're looking for. And this black forest looks tiny, fortunately. Ooh, don't like the look of what forest on this seed. Extremely scuffed. What is that? The tiny speck of black forest on the map. Oh my god. <laughs> what a troll seed. Hopefully it's just a troll black forest. That's not looking good, chat. There is some lean twos for really forward over there, but it's not worth crossing that water for. It's not that much time to save. Hopefully we find lot of forest on this island otherwise it's probably a reset maybe it's why this starting area was so flat on the flying could have just been all water Let's just see what we see over this little river on this left side. It could turn into black forest. We know it does it on the right side because we can see over there.
funny because we were here before and it's like, oh, this place doesn't look that good. But compared to the rest of this island, it's so garbage. This area is actually way better. Whatever, dude. Splish! Bad seed. Let's go. New run. I couldn't see any black forest anyway. Probably had already been too long. I'm just trying not to be too strict with the resets today just because I haven't run the game in a couple of weeks. So what has everyone been up to over the last couple of weeks? Anything exciting? Anyone been playing any games or do anything cool? What? That mountain just changed in front of my eyes. I swear it did. It looked like a big mountain. I'm keeping my direction fixed on that. Oh, that looks decent as well. That's way closer. Oh, I'd be so excited if we actually get a modder on the starter island. That's between bone mass and modder stones.
I did just hear a deer. I feel like I heard a deer over here just then. I saw one go the other way. What the fuck? It's another freaking Olympian deer. That was not blocked. Some deer, I swear, they're just on freaking steroids. Squeeze through little gaps. Jump over things randomly. <laughs> Steroids. Brood. It's an epidemic. I heard another deer. It's really hard for them to do it going uphill, thankfully. on rocks on the way see we got kind of a bad eat there on my pb i'm still close to record and we sailed for freaking ages before we found your gloss Those two things, it would definitely be record. Could potentially be 
sub four hours. That's why we know sub four hours is within grasp. What's up, Sauron? Thanks for stopping by the stream. Hope you're doing good. So look. Appreciate that. What? It rolled onto me. That's a bad dodge. I can't believe that tree rolled onto me. What is it? Fucking one HP. The one star tree, true. Also, 10 minutes. Not bad. <laughs> See, look. That was one of them weird stutters. I'd rather have uh, lower FPS than those stutters. You know, what it actually reminds me of is when I used to put, when I used to play PUBG, I used to put the game on high CPU priority. To get a better frame rate but then stutters like that actually would happen so i would have a higher frame rate most of the time but then i'd just randomly get stutters and those stutters would just get you killed so I'd, i actually stopped doing it that's what it reminds me of because the game it definitely runs at a higher FPS than it used to for me. I tried capping my FPS as well and that didn't do anything. Maybe I should try capping it much lower. It doesn't run at a high FPS, does it? And it's less than 100 most of the time. Oh yeah, I forgot we had an early mountain. That's exciting.
I wonder if I capped it at like 95 or something. It does sometimes make it to 100. I'm going to try some of it. You can type in it, can't you? No, you can use the arrows. That's it. 100. That as well. Could just be like some of those random new settings that we've got even. Trying to get to the coast so we can go for uh, Flint as well on the way. This isn't the mountain, is it? gonna say I'm trying to get uh, to make a club guys chill The absolute best thing ever. Never. I don't think we've ever had a successful run where this has happened, but we have had it happen on runs, though. Is, uh. Oh, shit. Wrong way. You find the Elder on the way to an early mountain. That's the best. Yeah, we're dead. Oh. Splish. All right, new run. Let's go.
Right, I'm only going to be streaming past midnight tonight if it's actually going to be record. So this, we need an attempt that ends up being record to start within the next, I don't know, less than an hour. I've, I, so one of the reasons why when I released the video, I didn't immediately start streaming is because um, I took a, a day to reset my sleeping pattern. Because I ended up with like a completely inverted sleeping pattern working on the video. It's just staying up editing. But I wanted to come back and start doing earlier streams. So I'm actually pretty tired right now. <laughs> But the plan is to do earlier streams for a while, hopefully. Obviously, we can't really predict that because if we do end up getting a run that, like, is record pace, or we stay up all night to do it, then so be it. But that looks like a good early mountain, right? We'll barely see it. But I think it's good. It's so dark, it's hard to tell. Yeah, I think it's good. Yeah, it's good. We just need to grind for the run where we get modder on the starter island. Obviously, it's not just that. Like, this, everything else would have to be in a decent location too. But it would give us a giant head start. There's modder, starter island. Plus, new bone mass strat. Would be massive time save on world record so as long as the rng is somewhere in the ballpark we could actually get a lot worse rng than record so long as those two things happen worked out pretty good it always freaks me out when Valheim does that you guys ever get that if you if you collect the mats that you needed to craft an item when you have the crafting menu open sometimes it's still gray but it says you can craft it because <laughs> you can craft it but it stays grey in the list oh, it trips me out I don't think I've had one of them stutters yet since I capped my FPS at 100 and turned off reduced performance in background I just, I just w want to stop it from happening because it does screw me over sometimes.
I heard a deer over here. Oh, two. What the? F Got a troll deer. It pretended it couldn't hear me. And now he jumps over platforms. This deer is on steroids, you can tell. Deeroids. So erratic behaving. You can tell this one's on stuff. No, the drop rate. That's what's that three deer and no trophy now? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, chat. No. Didn't know he was here. Is anyone in the chat playing the cycle by any chance? Awesome Avox. Hell yeah, dude. I've been playing it as well. Oh, you and your girlfriend. That's awesome, dude. I'm going to stream some on my old Twitch channel at some point. Yeah, it's so fun. Same. Yeah. It is such, honestly, if anyone doesn't know what the cycle is, but they like kind of like FPS survival slash looter shooter type games, I'm pretty sure anyone that knows Escape from Tarkov will know the cycle, but if they don't know Tarkov, if they know Tarkov and don't know the cycle, then you're missing out. But it's such a well-designed game, it's such high quality. That it would be a real shame if the game just dies. <laughs> you can jump 
But the, the aggro range of boars is really low, so you can jump outside the aggro range. Jump into them so they don't aggro. Until you're already landed on them. So it's just kind of stop them running away. Getting really bad drop rates. Look, I'll just run up to this one. See the sag grows. Starts attacking you. And he'll either attack you or he'll run away. I see we got a big stutter then. Another cool trick you can do with boar is uh, if they are back road and it's loads of them and you don't want to die, you can equip your torch at the last minute before you hit them. And you actually can stop them attacking you. If you do it just at the last minute, they still won't have a chance to run away. I wish you could figure out the same thing for deer because I'm sure there's something like that you could do. Oh my god. These are just the worst drop rates. GG. Splish. Let's not get in the seeds today, chat. That was low drop rates I'm trying to play these seeds out more than I normally would to get back into the swing of things but not really paying off yet Thanks, Tom. I appreciate the look. I appreciate it. Let's stop him by the stream. Yeah, no look yet. No, your gluck is the biggest problem RNG wise. It's just we've got a new strat for modder that allows us to 
um, killer earlier because the, the previous strat relied on the bonfire which is still the best strat. The thing is with the bonfire, if you find modder right at the start like you can, that is possible to do. Um, with a bonfire strat, you, you can't actually kill her. You would have to just probably reset or just play the run out as if you never found her and try and find a different modder. But with the new strat, we can kill her right away. So it just uses campfires instead of bonfires. So that's why I'm most concerned about a modder being early now. Is because that's just going to be the biggest time save for world record. That and the new mod, uh, new bone mass strat. But your glut is actually the biggest problem, RNG wise. I am actually going to do a day where we just reset for early mountain because I was resetting for really for early mountain really hard for like a week or something and the reason we stopped it is because it was not like consistent but part of that is back then we couldn't actually if we got the, if the, if the model was actually too early we couldn't even do it and that happened at least twice, if not three times, I would say, during the period of time I was really hard resetting for early modder. But now we could capitalize on it. So I think it is actually worth resetting for early modder now. Or is it? It was always worth it, it just wasn't that necessary. But the thing is, you can capitalize on the earlier modder so that now what you're resetting for is much more time saved than before because we were resetting to find a model location early but then it still be in a position that we do on the way to the other bosses which would be argued that you could still do a modder just as fast if you happen to bump into that mountain and that's true it's just the differences you would guarantee the model location right from finding it early and get that rng out of the way early so you know it's like a huge chunk of rng out of the way for resets but now there's no question it's your massive time saved now if you get her on the starter island no question When the flower crown goes live, Loki hopes speedrunner picks ten dandelions, ten dandelions and makes it armor of one. <laughs> That's funny. I'm sure we can we can make that happen for the memes. Is it really only ten dandelions? What do you need to craft it? Is it just a workbench? Level one. Does anyone know? I haven't looked into it. This is kind of funny. Like it's actually sort of free if that's all it is. If it's a level one workbench. Thank you. 
Dude, these deer are just insane. Is it just a workbench? So it's actually kind of free anyway then. That's hilarious. What's up anyway, Kayleen? Thanks for the stream. I hope you're doing good. I mean, free one armor. Not too bad. <laughs> Bro. Please give me a. Oh, we got two trophies. Shit. I didn't realize. Must have been reading chat. That's fine though. Still on pace. I actually messed that up a bit. I could have just used the torch and kept it on fire there. But Doesn't matter, it's still a good ETH time. I have to say, I'm taking a little bit of time off speedrunning to work on videos and stuff. I feel like um my brain power has increased with like remembering all the different little tricks. Sometimes you get better at something by taking a break from it. If you've put a lot of hours in already. I believe there's actually some sort of science to that, right? It's like when you're resting, you actually, that's when the neural pathways in your brain formed or something. Something like that, right? Because I feel like I'm starting to think of some really clutch ideas so far in today's run, today's attempts. We can try that mountain that we flew over. Just it's a bit of a stab in the dark. It didn't look great, but it was big ish. It's like I always remember when I first started playing Dark Souls when it came out back in the day. And um, I remember like so often I would get stuck on a boss and I'd be like, banging my head against the wall for hours 
and I'd go to bed. And then I wanna when I woke up the next day and played the game, that's when I would actually beat it. That's when I would beat the boss. It's like you need to put the reps in to get good and stuff. You need to put the hours and all the, you know practice it a lot, but then you then you need to take a break for it to settle your mind kind of. There's something else I always feel as well doing speedruns in particular is a lot of the times when I speedrun a, a different game, it makes me better at running a totally unrelated game somehow. Oh my god, I said two boar swim all that way to get away from me. Or obviously that scary. Making sure I get the flint before we go to the mountain. It's easy to forget that and then you end up in a kind of sucky situation. I'm gonna forget resetting spawn I think for a while. I do definitely think there's a place for it. With. Yeah, it's a strap. This can't be it, is it? Well, I guess it can be. It's not going to be good, is it? But, but maybe we could actually do it just with corpse run. It's not very steep, is it? This is a bit of a long shot, but it's a very close mountain. <laughs> it does it was probably not gonna have anything on it, but we need to play for those long shots, chat. I didn't see him. It's a bit weird. It's like I feel like it's almost high enough to have a cave on it, but not quite.
No. Why? Do, what's going on with my game? Why did it do that? I went to press escape. What? What window is shortcut I'm pressing when I go to press escape? Tab open escape? Control escape. And alt escape to use some it. Didn't know that. Well, it's GG anyway. Splish. I could maybe disable those Windows shortcuts at some point if I remember. I guess they aren't disabled with uh, putting your keyboard in game mode, you know? What time are we on? Half ten? Yeah, we can still do runs. I have actually been thinking about adjusting the height of my monitors and camera and stuff in this room. I do feel like my chair is more comfortable on the lower setting. I've been putting it off because I'd have to adjust everything else. Can't tell if I do see a mountain there or if it's just clouds. Oh, that's a mountain. Let's go. If we keep getting these early mountains seeds, I'll be happy. Guys, we're a 
over in fact i forgot we're over a few hours into the stream thanks for the follow on twitch for i appreciate it mate i hope you're doing good and that's normally when i remind people the ways that you can support the content financially because it is the financial support of our community that allows me to keep putting so much time into the speedruns uh, and videos so if you would like to support the content and help keep the dream alive of being able to continue to make these videos and streams and the best way for you to do that is on patreon at patreon.com slash nick rawcliffe you can get a link to the patreon by doing an estimation patreon in the chat or by clicking the link in the description patreon allows you to do a monthly donation sort of like a twitch sub except you can do it for any amount of money even as little as one dollar how it works is for example if you were to subscribe at the one dollar level right now they will donate one dollar to me right now and then you'll be donating one dollar a month on the first of every month from then onwards until you cancel your subscription and you can cancel it at any time anyone that becomes a patron also gets invited to join my private valheim server that i pay for that runs 24 7 and gets to play on there whenever you want with the rest of the community and you will also get invited to play valheim with me live on stream when we do server streams again there is a link in the description to the patreon or you can do exclamation patreon in the chat second best way you can support the content financially is by doing donations there's a link in the description to that as well or you can do exclamation donate in the chat donations are the best way for you to do a one-off contribution because your money goes the furthest and last but not least you can support the content financially over on youtube by doing super chats during the live streams by clicking the, the join button below the stream to become a YouTube member and members get access to monthly exclusive behind the scenes videos. You can now also support the content financially off stream on YouTube by clicking the thanks button below a stream, which essentially leaves like a super comment, if you will. And also don't forget to join the Discord. It's the number one best way to make sure you don't miss any live streams or videos. You get an invite by doing it the Discord. Poggy, the legend, your Hello, legend. Man. Hello, <laughs> thank you for the 20 knock. I really appreciate that, dude. Thanks for supporting the content and keeping the dream alive, bud. I hope you're doing well. And uh, I do stream on Twitch and YouTube at the same time. So, if you're watching on YouTube and you'd rather be watching on Twitch, there's a link in the description to the Twitch channel, or you can do it to Twitch in the chat. And also, if you're watching on Twitch and you want to support the content for free, make sure you head over to the YouTube stream and smash the like button. Smashing the like button makes it more likely that the stream gets recommended to new people in the recommended feed. Then you can just go back to watching on Twitch or wherever you want. And while you're over there, you might as well hit the sub button too because I don't just stream on the YouTube channel. I post my PBs, build records, Crazy challenges and the occasional guide. And also, if you like the idea of me randomly playing some games casually, not just speedruns and challenges, with no camera, whilst I relax, you can go follow my new Twitch channel. It's Nick no cam. You can get a link to that by doing an exclamation alt in the chat. We're trying to reach 50 followers on the brand new Twitch channel that was just created. So I'd appreciate if people drop a follow there just to help me out with that. I heard another deer, but I don't see him. Thanks again, Nock, for supporting the content and keeping the dream alive. The super chat, appreciate that, mate. The legend. Thanks for the sub. 
I appreciate that on YouTube. 420. Thanks for the follow. Where's Kuchilu on Twitch? Appreciate that. The legend always staying true to the name, the super chats. <laughs> I hope people have been enjoying the members only content recently. I've been putting a little bit more time into it, been enjoying it. In fact, if you're a member and you actually miss the members only content, there's a link in the description to all of my videos to a playlist of all the members only content. In case anyone didn't know. one video a month and I've started to do one extra each month sometimes now. In the form of like a stream or something. I was thinking of occasionally doing just like a personal vlog. Where I just kind of feel myself talking about something. About like some of my more personal interests. It's not related to gaming. You pop in as a bot is spamming, yikes. Oh, there we go. Mod got it. Thanks, Loki. What's up, Walton? Thanks for talking about the stream. I hope you're doing good. I can hear the deer, but I, don't, I can't see them. They sound close. What? That? What the hell? That deer is glitching the ground then, I swear. He's cheating. The guy's cheating. Report him. Finally. We need a lot of stone. Should be good there actually. Actually, potentially on pace for a decent dear time despite everything. Not gonna be possible to get a good eat there fight with that spawn. Not even possible. Get a meta fight with that.
Hello, split. Split. Split, splits. Finally. Yeah, that's an unlucky location, but locally it's not big time loss. Still ahead of PB, so can still get world record with that eek. If we have chance for an early mountain, we really need to just commit to the seed until we check it. No worries, Cloaky. Thanks a look, I appreciate you, mate. Thanks for doing a seller job as a mod as usual. Hope you have a good day tomorrow. like it kind of a good seed so far Um, okay, I guess we do this weird swim. working out good so far we've got to make sure we stay on the right trajectory for the mountain though but i do hear that crow i see a seed up there actually Dead. It's nice to have a free spawn near a burial chamber. Holy shit. need it
Oh god. That was just a regular skeleton arrow, luckily. <laughs> Holy shit. Otherwise, we would have been dead. Same, Tony. They are really cool. not get too sidetracked remember we're heading to that mountain yeah that would be cool weird that's about another burial chamber so close by it's the same type as well. It's kind of confusing. I'll take it. Should we try this door maybe? Nope, that's not a good idea leave that door it might actually stop them a little bit because it's at the other side of it it didn't that's gonna be a dead end i think that's a dead end as well gonna close that but i didn't want to get hit Oh my god, dude. Uh oh. But it's gonna be swarmed. There's no need to put a bed down every single time. And we should be able to survive most burial chambers anyway. So. It's just time lost to make too many beds. Because we need the wood as well. actually going really good so far especially if this early mountain pays off
there's a mountain there. I'm wondering if what we're looking at actually was a combination of a couple of islands. It's a really steep mountain. This will be our last attempt of the night. By the way, chat. No, so close. So close to making that other dodge. It's <sighs> unfortunate. skeletons what's up Mackie thanks for stopping by hope you're doing good oh thank you I appreciate that nice to see you as well Man, how did we not see this stuff in this direction? Ah, that's nothing good anyway.
Thanks, as God. I appreciate that. you legend. Glad to enjoy the content, dude. Hope you're doing good. around marker I don't They went to did the same thing. Let's wait until we heal a little bit, and then we can uh, actually kill these skellies if we want. Oh. Bone. We're getting this is fucking bullshit dude we... i know that archer showed up Splish. all right whatever i'm going to sleep anyway i'm tired i can't believe another archer showed up we're actually just killing all of them easily with the corpse run and then and the other archer showed up and our health starts going down because getting shot twice All right, I'm gonna get some sleep um, because I want to end a bit earlier tonight because um, I want to start the stream earlier tomorrow. I've been saying I'm gonna start doing earlier streams for people for ages, um, for people in Europe and stuff. Um, and uh, I did actually change my sleeping pattern. I spent like, I, I took a day to change my sleeping pattern so that I could start doing some early streams. Uh, we'll go back to doing some late streams again at, at, at some point, of, of course, because um, we just end up staying up late when we do early streams grinding, but I want to do an early stream tomorrow for people that can't make the late streams. So I'm going to end the stream now so I can get an early night. Um, so yeah. I'll see you guys tomorrow and I'll start much earlier tomorrow because I have no video to post tomorrow like I did today. Um, so yeah, um, I might decide at some point um, to stream playing The Cycle or, you know, some other games that aren't Valheim just casually on my alt Twitch channel. So make sure you guys go and follow that and join my Discord. You can, go, you can join the Discord by doing exclamation Discord in the chat. And you, and you can get a link to my alt Twitch channel that I just created by doing exclamation alt in the chat. It's Nick Nocam. 
I'll be doing like no comment streams, just playing games casually from time to time. Like if I can't sleep or if I have some time to kill whilst I'm waiting for a video to render or something like that. Um, something people have asked for is to see me just playing games casually and I think this is the best way to do it. So make sure you go check out, drop a follow. We need to get the 50 followers, I think, to become an affiliate. So make sure you go follow the new Twitch channel. All right, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's stream. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for some more Valheim speedruns. All right, guys. Have a good one. Bye. Thanks again so much to Dana, by the way, for the insane donation. All right, night, guys. Have a good one. Bye.